Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Blue Oak Energy's Tech Talk Tuesday. Today I'd like to go a little bit more in depth on the conditional use permit or cut process for ground mounted solar PV projects. This is something we also did a blog on recently on our website and it's something we feel is a hot topic these days. So, submittal to planning. As we've stated before, the cut process involves the first submittal of project information to the particular governing agency you are working with. The process can take between three and even 18 months and can involve a significant amount of deliverables. The goal, the goal is obviously to get conditionally approved for the project, but it's also to submit as much of a realistic design as possible so you won't have to go through this lengthy cup process or go through some sort of cup addendum process later. When the construction drawings get submitted for building permits, the planning department will do another review to ensure the design is consistent with what they approved originally. Solar equipment, technologies, and other design measures will most likely change by the time final engineering takes place, but it's possible to submit a realistic design and allow for these flexibilities. Example approach topics, grading. Something that could re-trigger the CUP or CEQA process would be if you propose a bunch of grading and planning did their original review without this being proposed. A strategy for this could be to propose grading regardless during the CUP. It's a situation of asking for more early and needing less later as opposed to the opposite. We are of the opinion that a detailed topography map and boundary survey should take place before the CUP layout is produced. It's not too much of an expense and the results are incredibly valuable to the PV system designer. The topo map and boundary survey serves as our encumbrance map and gets utilized as the background for our design. It tells us the hard constraints and ultimately where PV arrays can and cannot go. On top of that, the topography map will give us a good idea of the grading and drainage mitigations that will likely take place uh, during, during the cup so we can go in accurately as well. Fire department research. We like to determine the respective fire department's criteria early for access and circulation so we can go, go in accurately with our on-site road layout and uh, in turn our PV array layout early so the whole design doesn't domino out and change later um, losing a bunch of efficiencies. Even if we've worked with this particular fire department before, we like to have the communications going early and we like to get some sort of soft approval on our road layout, uh, again, so no issues come up later. Racking. If you're on the fence of what type of system you're going to use for the project, uh, fixed tilt or some sort of tracker, maybe have some discussions with the agency and propose multiple systems during the cup. This way, ideally, you can be conditionally approved for whichever system gets selected uh, down the road. Substation. Basically on this, it's good to allocate the appropriate amount of space for the substation. It's important to show the heights and the visual impact, especially if you're proposing power poles. Um, again, so, so issues don't come up later during final engineering um, where they wonder where a, a 45 foot power pole came from. Agency knowledge of the project. The bottom line is the more the agency knows what the ultimate PV system is going to look like, uh, the better. It can save them a lot of time and energy during their review and it can reduce the amount of boilerplate conditions that engineers have to sift through and take time on later. An example of something you can bring up with the agency is the minimal amount of uh, traffic the site will experience during its lifetime. Most likely the site will just get a couple pickup trucks a year doing commissioning and maintenance and if this can be conve conveyed to the agency um, most likely you can reduce your off-site improvement requirements. You know street improvements and paved ap aprons and access ways can can lead to high construction costs and the best time to hash th these details out with the agency is at the beginning during the cup. So these are just a, a couple examples uh, we feel um, can be for the greater good and life of the project and we hope it helps. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.